right now in the world, people who are different are being extremely targeted. Our survival is at risk. We have to stand up. Because of the drag ban, we have a bigger community to empower. We're just getting started. Bringing in more voices is essential. The We're Here family just keeps growing. Hello, the drag queens are here. We are in Oklahoma and Tennessee. Because they try to cancel Pride, it's important that we make drag a spectacle. We're not hiding. We're not going anywhere. Honey, you can't kill drag got an interesting call, concerned that you might get arrested if we do this. You don't wanna dance with me. Four seasons later, it's actually harder to be out and proud. People in the LGBTQ religion, they want us to accept it's us. It's definitely not a religion. It's still a religious cult. I had someone shoot a bullet through my house for being a gay drag queen running for office. If you are constantly by yourself, there's no way for you to come past this. It's important that we connect her with someone so that she can find community. I am transitioning with hormones. I dream of being able to roll out of bed, look in the mirror and think, you're beautiful, Jess. I just want people to see that there are people who are out in the world like this and they're not alone. We're people with rich stories. Drag queens are at the forefront of this fight. Violence is never the answer, but drag just might be. If people see you living your most authentic life, people feel like they can do the same thing. That's your dad? I was like, that's my dad! <laughs> to inspire one person to live out and proud is worth it. When I say we're, you say here. We're. Here. We're. Here. And we're not going anywhere. <laughs>